A very good morning to Arsenal fans. How are you doing today? Welcome back from a very disturbing weekend. Otherwise, I really understand what you're going through right now. But it's very well, my people. It's well. It's well. <laughs> and Manchester United, big upon yourselves. You really did well. It was a very fantastic weekend for you guys. Now, the lady who was seen in a viral video on social media platforms mistreating her child is likely to spend 12 years in prison. <laughs> oh my god. That story and much more are coming up right now. Otherwise, welcome to a brand new week in this month of September. And as usual, my name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, bringing to you the stories making headlines this Monday morning. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, Uganda police has taken action on the woman captured in a viral video mistreating a two-year-old child. In a statement issued by Uganda police on their social media platforms, it was established that this woman is called Dorothy Naboli May, 22 years, a mother of three children and a resident of Luero. Now, the neighbor who recorded that video says it wasn't her first time to beat this child and as neighbors, they had always cautioned her but she gave them a deaf ear. <laughs> Now, some neighbors said they had reported the matter to police, but they had no evidence. That is why it was very important to record that video. Now, police in Luero says this young lady is already in their custody and if she's convicted of this criminal offense, she's likely to spend over 12 years in prison. However much, Ugandans on different social media platforms blamed the neighbor who recorded the video for not saving the child. Uganda police says she did well to record that video because it's going to be used as evidence in court. Well, there you go. That's a comprehensive update about that video in saturation on different social media platforms. I cannot play the video right here because it's very disturbing. Personally, I didn't watch it up to the end because, man, very, very disturbing. But... You can check on, on different social media platforms, especially Facebook. I think it is still making rounds right there. Now, Uganda police has confirmed five people died in Kajasi Town Castle, Namlanda Stone Quarry, when it collapsed and uh, the exercise for looking for more people has ended. <laughs> Now, the quarry collapsed and buried people and a truck that had gone to carry the stones from the area. 
However, the residents have blamed police for taking long to respond to the unfortunate incident that happened in their area. Police mchuo kule tasika veta tere sifaya brigade kati netuwa buza manjaga kenda kuwa tamuriro Obaba ntuwa wano wake nukuwa tamuriro Government ina tracks nisobu nukuta saba andu Uluun setu manja wa yuzo kwa yu abachari ya balamu Na yu loku vanti mkono mkono nyonde tesobola kutuka kubantu mspidi the residents also blamed the leaders in Kajasi Town Castle for failing to regulate this working place and yet they have been collecting revenue from the workers. Now, look away Sijire, police spokesperson Kampala Metropolitan says they have closed the place because their fears that the same might happen. Well, may the souls of the departed rest in peace. At least 57 families of the victims of last year's bomb blasts in Kampala have received a total of 1 billion shillings from President Museveni. We all remember last year, bomb blasts rocked Kampala when suicide bombers detonated bombs at the Central Police Station CPS and along Parliamentary Avenue. Now, yesterday, Jane Bareche, the State House Controller, handed 20 million to each of the families who lost their loved ones and 10 million to each of the injured. Now, those who received the money included police officers and civilians during a function held at the police headquarters in Nauguru. Now, Spark TV's presenter Isaac Katende, aka Kasuku, is in trouble after recording a TikTok video attacking orphaned women, saying that they don't have a right to complain in relationships. Now, Kasuku took to his TikTok account and made this statement that did not settle well with a section of internet users, especially the women. Now, in the same video, Kasuku is seen saying fellow men sent him to urge orphaned women to lie low and uh, respect their partners. Let's first of all watch the video and uh, I'll be back shortly. <laughs> Aba wala ngo manyori mure kwa ori infunzi. Tebu tukenda bakiri za kutu manyira. Omu wala ata ina bazade beto manyira. Msaja wabandi. Nga utu manyira otia mure kwa. Eh? Mure kwa manyira otia o msaja. Aba kaza ajo tu manyira. Iba ina bazade bao. Ba mure kaba infunzi. Musinikira mure nebi nyobie mbwa. There you go. That is Isaac Katende aka Kasuku. Now, Victoria Bagaya from Next Media is one of the women on different social media platforms who have reacted on this video. Now, Victoria Bagaya says, My mind can't believe to comprehend how a grown man can get in front of a camera and record this kind of disrespectful video. This is what people's daughters have to deal with. Disgusted. This one castled too. I don't know what she's trying to mean right there. But, hey, that is Victoria Bagaya from Next Media. But honestly, this guy's statement, you know, feels like it's a crime to lose a parent. I think his statement wasn't called for. Anyway, I don't know what you think, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. Otherwise, I wish you a very happy new week. I hope that you're doing very fine. If things are not moving on very well for you, please keep trying. Come down, pray to God, and keep trying. Everything will be okay. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula, and this is The Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications it's a bye for now Audio jungle.